Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and today I'm back on R Factor 2 where we are hitting up the IndyCar series for the first time here in 2020. Now usually the St. Petersburg Grand Prix is the opening weekend of the IndyCar series each year but unfortunately I haven't found a St. Pete track mod that's any decent on R Factor 2. There is one but it's like from 2003 and it looks absolutely terrible. So instead we're going to be skipping that round and moving over to the Barber round which is technically round 2. Now as you can see here I've got a 2020 NTT Data IndyCar Series mod with all the drivers that were supposed to compete in the 2020 season and I am going to be driving the number two Scott McLaughlin Team Penske car which is uh, one of the sort of test drives that he did during the sort of preseason. He was I think going to race a couple races and did do the preseason test at Sebring uh, or Sebring or Coda or both of them. I can't remember which ones he did, but uh, yeah, we're going to be driving that car today. Um, I am a bit of a Team Penske fan. I'm driving the Acura in the sort of IMSA WeatherTech series that I've got going on alongside this. Yeah, that's enough talk. Without any further ado, we'll jump straight into the video. Alrighty, so that's qualifying in the books. Managed to put it in the fence, so we are starting off of dead last, which I'm actually pretty happy about because it means we get to avoid all the AI crap on the first lap. This race is going to be 45 laps in total length, which is around half of what it is in the real life event. The difficulty I've set to 110%, which is what I sort of usually run on R Factor 2. Uh, the aggression I've dropped down to 30% because we're in an open wheel category, and the damage I've maxed out. I sort of like to have full damage because it sort of forces you to not make the same mistakes that you would if you're just sort of racing around on a usual sim game. Anyway, as you can see, all the assists are off, so we are driving a raw IndyCar. And yeah, without any further ado, we'll jump onto the grid and get away on this formation lap. Rolling start in the IndyCar series, of course. Um, however, in a sort of little test run I did before, it would seem that the AI on this track are unable to actually start in double files, so we're going to be doing a single file start. Alrighty, well, I have no idea what the strategy is going to be today. I think I can get it done on two stops, but I haven't done any full fuel runs in practice, so I don't know what the tyre wear is like. We'll just have to take it as it comes, hoping the sort of fuel runs out before the tyre wear uh, gets too bad. But anyway, here we go, IndyCar Grand Prix of Alabama on our Factor 2. Let's just get through this first lap unscathed. Alrighty, around the last corner. Onto the main flag, straight, we're under green flag racing already. Not even on the straight yet. Alrighty, turn one's a fast left hander. Let's hope the AI don't screw themselves up. Ooh, Jesus. Oh my god. Oh, husky chocolate in front of us. I don't know who's in that car this year actually. That's Ericsson. Alright. Just gonna sit here and ride while the AI do their thing. Hopefully, pick them off one at a time as the race goes on. I've oh, got to be delicate on the throttle in this car. It has a really weird torque curve. Sort of all of a sudden feel the power come out of nowhere. And it just wheel spins the rear tyres and you end up trying to chase your ass the whole way onto the straight. Oh, that's some serious aero wash. So we can get a move done here. Ooh, that's tight. It's so hard to pass the car here without taking out the one in front of it. Alright, well we got one position on lap one. Only 44 to go. track is hard work. It's short, short lap only, just over a minute long, but seriously um, demanding in terms of the physical aspect in real life. A lot of the IndyCar drivers dub this as the hardest track physically on the whole calendar. This is just so many high speed corners. You've got the aero maxed out, so you've got all this downforce and g-force that comes with it. Oh my gosh, that's tight. Got another one. It was easy, easy pickings. There's one wild chicane. Yeah, not only lateral G's but longitudinal ones as well. You can see all the compressions really sucked you down into the seat. I haven't actually raced here in real life, but I have driven here. I used to live just down the road from this track when I competed in the States. My grandparents have got a property just down the road in Birmingham. 
already just monitoring the fuel, seeing what sort of usage we're getting. Oh, we've got to change down gears. There's just so much going on, man. I cannot focus. Oh, big dive bomb. struggling to get off that hairpin. Do not trust this car whatsoever. Oh, easy. Cannot run behind cars through there flat out. Oh, hello. focus ahead, see if we can pick him off one at a time. Definitely got pace, we were quick in practice, but as I said, a fence in qualifying, so we are coming from the back. Oh, Jesus. Joseph, head down, focus. Don't want to lose too much time to the leaders. Big move. Love me some of that. Uh, grass. No, nope, go away. Now this mod, even though it's probably not as aesthetically pleasing as, say, the iRacing version, it is actually pretty realistic. Tire model's incredibly good, unlike iRacing. Joseph, no one likes someone who moves in the braking zone. Even if it is an AI. You don't want to lose that rear wing. Yeah, I mean, physics are probably not as good in terms of the way the car sort of takes a set and grips through the corner, but um, as good as I racing, I should say, but besides that, no, for a free mod on R Factor 2, it's, it's insane. The guys have done really well. I don't actually know who made this, but anyway, links in the description. Or do we make a move? We don't have the speed. I think we've got a little bit more aero than the AI, but. enough to, or not too much to make a move in a straight line. So we've got to run here, here we go. Big move. Be careful, I can feel myself blocking that inside tyre. Flat spots are a thing on RFX too, so you've got to be careful not to do that too much. Oh my gosh. I kind of raised just at a moment. It's never a good thing when you see a sideways car in your rear view mirror. It looks like it's heading straight for you. Oh, shoot! Oh, that's not gone well. Big wreck from the <laughs> AI in that sort of left right complex but oh man we got some serious damage here well I tried to get the damage fixed but unfortunately it just keeps resetting itself so I can only assume we have really screwed this car um, yeah not the uh, just shut the engine off not the way that we wanted to go in this first race <laughs> around here but yeah I just could not stop in time let's actually go and have a look and see what happened in okay so this was the uh, Ryan Hunter Ray moment and then on the very same lap 
like... <laughs> yeah, no, that's, uh, that's, <laughs> that's not gone well. We have completely obliterated that, uh, Carlin car. I think it's Carlin, uh, like, Chilton, I think. So it was actually Zach Beach that caused the, uh, okay, that was never gonna end well. And then I just come in and completely annoy <laughs> there, there's me. <laughs> Alright, well anyway, that's that. Uh, not the way we wanted to go in this first sort of indie car race on R-Factor 2, but uh, next up, I actually don't know, I think it's Long Beach is the next one I've got sort of uh, calendared out, if that makes sense. But yeah, anyway, that's the end of that, and on to the next one. Until next time, I'll catch you guys later.